Hey, welcome into the round pen today with this big old mare named Soxy. The last video was me laying her down. And that's probably been about 10, 12 days ago. After that, I laid her down again, second time. And I've done a whole bunch of desensitizing with this horse. Lots and lots of jumping around, lots and lots of thumping her on the belly with my hand, with the stirrup. And frankly, that was, I think, her biggest issue. Ooh, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. Okay, she totally ignored me when I asked her to stop. Ooh, a little better. A little better. Her biggest issue was, was she was real touchy about anything around her flanks. Okay, now I'm gonna send her to her right. There we go. Um, so I, in fact, when I first started just laying over the saddle, and I think you might have seen that on one of the earlier videos, my intern was just laying on her back and she's jumping all around, jumping away. And it was cause she was so touchy about things around her flanks and her belly. So obviously did a lot of work with that. I've ponied her several times, done a lot of work above her, waving my hat, doing all those kinds of things like that. Um, so all totaled, I have about 15 hours of work on this mare. Woo, to get her to this point right here. So that was much better. She's paying attention now, good girl. No, nope. right there, she said, I think I'll just panic and run away. I said, no, that's one reason we do this ground driving. Ooh. Okay. Don't panic and run away. Ooh. So you can see she's still not, she's not mentally where, where she needs to be. She's getting a lot closer and I haven't ground driven her in probably a week. So, so it's been a while, but I did have this working a little better a week ago. Okay. So I am, Planning to ride her today, I think, I think. I might change my mind, but I think I'm going to, okay? And one of the reasons I do this ground driving is because they learn not to panic. Because they do a lot of panicking and it, and it gets them in trouble. And it doesn't, it doesn't give them the answer they want. So that's one of the reasons I like to do this. It really teaches a horse that panicking is not the answer to the problem, okay? And this mare is tough. I don't know if you can tell that just by watching these videos. She is a tough-minded horse. She's strong and she's kind of stiff. She's just tough, which <laughs> she's gonna be a really good horse. I know some of you guys, some of you old cowboys, you like the looks of this horse. She's the old foundation Leo bred. That's what she is. Uh, she's strong as an ox now. Ooh. That's better, wasn't good, but it's better. And that's all the more reason to get all this worked out before I get on her. I've sat on her three or four, at least three or four times and yield her hindquarters a little bit. I haven't actually ridden her. Um, because I think I've said this before, before I ride a horse, I don't want them to be, I don't want to ride a horse that's afraid of me. See that move right there? She, that was her running away from me. She kind of knew what the cue was. She knew what I was going to ask her to do, but out of fear, she said, boop, I'm out of here. So what'll she do when I'm riding her? It'll be just that bad or worse when I'm riding her. Ooh. Until she thinks instead of reacts. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. I want her to think not be silly. I want her to think and not be silly. Okay? I want her to think and not be silly. Now, I've done a lot of this stuff right here. And you say, well, it doesn't look like you've done a lot of it. Well, <laughs> guess she needs a little more. And she stepped over the rope, which I figured she would. Okay? So now, I'm gonna send her, and she stepped out. Okay, 
Now the rope's underneath the, the, the stirrup. That's all right. Whatever. Okay. This other, the other rope's caught under the saddle. Okay. So you can see that's bothering her way more than it should. All I'm doing is flipping that rope around a little. So maybe I won't ride her today. We'll see. She's, I really thought this was gonna be a lot better today than it is. It's just not, it's not uh, nearly as good as I thought it was gonna be. So if it doesn't get better in the next five or 10 minutes, I won't ride her. And she's really pulling away from me. I don't know if you can see that and you say, why is she pulling away from me? Because she's afraid of me. That's why. Okay. I thought I, I thought I was over most of that, but maybe not. Okay, right there, she quit pulling on me. Finally, then she then she went back to it. What I'm doing is I'm pulling and releasing and giving her a chance to stay there. If she'll stay with me, I won't get pulled on. She's got to calm down enough to make that choice on her own. She'll stay with me. I won't pull on her. There. 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 Okay, maybe I will ride her. See, the, I hope you could see the difference in her frame of cha her change in her mind over the last three or four minutes. Okay. Now, I didn't ask her to walk, so that's why... I, I, I like that she calmed down. And here's the thing. A lot of horses will move because they're afraid. And they'll move what, what, whichever direction. Then when they get over being afraid, they say, well, I don't want to move because I'm not afraid. I don't want her to move because she's afraid. I want her to move because I said move. I gave her the cue to move. Okay. So I want her to trot around here because I'm asking her to trot around here. Not because she's afraid of me. Okay, and when I clucked, she knew the cue, she took off, but she also pulled away from me. Now she's calming down. Okay, now I'm gonna ask her to walk. I'm gonna ask her to walk. And she actually sped up instead of, at me, instead of responding. There she's walking, okay. So folks, that's horse training, it doesn't, it just doesn't work perfect. Most days it doesn't. Okay. Now let's see if she'll walk around me with this left rein loose. For the most part she is. Okay. Now I'm going to do an outside turn here and I predict she will speed up when I do it. I don't want her to. I want her to just walk. Yep, that's exactly what I thought she would do. That's not what I wanted her to do. That's what she did. And that's pure fear and anxiety right there. It's all that is. She's not pulling nearly as hard on me on this right side though. That's interesting. She's still kind of running off. She's not pulling as hard. So folks, this is all the stuff. You need this working for you before you get on their back. My goodness. Otherwise, you'll have the same problem, only you're up there screaming like a little girl while it's happening. And let me see if I can slow her down. She's not pulling on me too much. That was good. That was actually really nice. So that time, instead of speeding up, 
she actually slowed down. Nice. So that's starting to make me think I might be able to do that from the saddle. Maybe. Okay. Let's see if I do another outside turn. Let's see how she responds. Do it as smoothly as I can. That time she just loped off. Okay. So if I'm riding her and I do an outside turn, what do you think is going to happen? Okay. She's just panicking. That's pure panic right there. So what's she gonna do when I'm riding her? So now she's calming down a little. I'm gonna ask her to slow down. So there's a point there and I can feel it on the, on the line where she kind of relaxes and starts thinking and stops being in panic mode. And right there, that was just me wiggling my fingers. And I know there's a whole school of thought that that is like a mountain lion when you move your fingers and, and it very well may be true, but I kind of need her to get used to it. <laughs> so I'm not a mountain lion, all right? Let me see if I can get her to stop. Ooh. And that's what I figured she would do, and I don't have the other rein in my hand. So I'm just gonna let her run a little bit. Drag those lines. She seems to think that running away and taking off is the right answer. So that's fine. 